It really is, though. You're glad you was able to get enough attention to get the remake. Okay. Oh, God. What the hell? I can hear myself a little bit. There we go. I think, fingers crossed, I think we're okay. I really need to turn off one more thing. Hold on. Razor signups. Although last time, last time, thankfully, I do remember where it broke. So we'll go like straight to that to make sure that it that it is working now. Uh, enhancement sound normalization. Turn that off, dude. I did not like that. <laughs> I, it's nice whenever I don't know sometimes, but okay. Anyways, I think uh, I think we're good. Hopefully, fingers crossed. Let's try it out, dude. Thrillville. Create new save data. Let's go. Uh, I've heard a lot of really good things about this game. I hope I end up enjoying it. To be determined, I guess. You still miss Valkyrie. Valkyrie was cool. I know. I miss Valkyrie as well, but uh, that's the that's the downside of being a variety streamer, I guess. You know? <laughs> PS2 Gauntlet number 157, I think it is. Uh, but yeah, that's the downside of being a variety streamer. You know, some people come for specific games or, or like genres of games or whatever. So whenever you're a variety streamer, a lot of times you, you, you know, you lose people when you stop playing the things that interest them, which is f fair. You know, I get it, dude, but click and try. I got to get my, my name in here. My, my stream name. Every North American ever? No, every. Oh god, I can't type North American PS2 game. And we're playing Thrill Mill. I think this is just the base game, not off the rails. Done. He was in Germany too, so she can't be here all the time. She's likely asleep at this time. Probably, yeah. <laughs> Which, you know, again, fair. <laughs> don't be losing sleep just to watch me, dude. I, <laughs> That's fine. I don't blame anyone for that. Okay, options. Uh, camera invert, yes. Subtitles, yes. Tutorials are fine. Menu colors, purple. You know it. New game. So I'm, I'm fairly certain I remember at least where the game was crashing before. Well, freezing, I guess, is more the, the thing. isn't for the faint of heart. Just so you can see how serious it is, I've decided to let you in on what I've been getting up to. Currently, I'm working on an incredible new fuel. Right now, it's a bit volatile, but once I perfect the formula, it'll be the cleanest, most efficient energy source the world has ever known. Do you realize the implications of such a substance? Not everything said, okay. Discount Doc? Oh my god, you're not kidding, dude. <laughs> I think I said that the first time, too, that they they remind me a lot of Doc from uh, Back to the Future. What, what, what was his actual name? Doc... Door alligator. No, um, Doc Martin. <laughs> I don't. I can't remember this freaking. I've only ever seen that movie like once, and then seen clips of the uh, the other ones. But no fucking idea. Same. <laughs> I can't. I cannot for the life of me remember, dude. Uh, choose your character. Um, I'm just gonna close my eyes for a moment. I know you guys can't see me, but trust me, my eyes are closed. And we're gonna stop here. We are playing Jasmine. <laughs> the punk chick? Uh, are you talking about Bethany? Or Hannah? I think you're talking about Bethany. I'm fine with going going with with a little Bethany if you, you want. That one right there? 
I think I think this one is the one you're talking about. That's the most punkish to me. Yeah, okay. Jump right into the fun with your currently select character, or you can customize your name and appearance. You can customize your appearance? What kind of customization? Hairstyle? Oh, you can change like your clothes and everything? That's cool. Uh, do you have purple? Why is there no purple? There's like pink. <laughs> I don't, I don't want that. I guess, I guess this is fine. The purple headband. Name's fine. I don't care. Select. Uh, begin. Let's go. I had no idea there was character customization. I don't know if we looked at that last time or not. I don't really remember DBH. Game is loading. Please, game. You made it! Now, before you dive in, let's talk about what it takes to manage Thrillville. You'll have five ongoing goals while you manage your park. Building rides, playing games, talking to guests, training staff, and managing the business. I've set up stations right here by the park entrance that will tell you about each one. Just walk right over to any column of light and we can get started. Okay, which one was it? It was it was one of these ones on the left side. Welcome to our world. The build tutorial? It, oh well, okay. Now that you're, I didn't actually click it, but I guess we got too close to it. Is to build the rides and stalls in the park that meet the park guests' needs and make you the most money. All about that money, baby. These build zones are for carnival rides, games, and stalls. Let's take a look at the menu you use to place all those great attractions. This is your build menu. It'll show you each attraction that you can build for each section of the park, all in one simple area. All of the things you place in the park require power. This meter shows you how much power each section of your park has left. Pay attention to it. Can we add like some more substations or something? Like give us more power in an area or is there just or is this just their way of like stopping you from stuffing so much shit in one area that the PS2 crashes? <laughs> this line will show you every type of carnival ride that's available right now, as well as anything you've yet to unlock. You'll find similar information in each section of this menu. You All got it, these boss. rides and games are great, but let's not forget roller coasters. Hell yeah, dude. Man, I don't know if anyone else did as a kid. I was I think it was while I was in the Boy Scouts. We built a little uh, roller coaster esque thing for like marbles, uh, out of like pipes and and I don't remember what else we had. <laughs> we had a bunch of different stuff, and we were able to build them. And then we got judged like on our on our builds. And uh, I don't remember if we did well on it or not, but it was a lot of fun, and it inspired me to make a, a gumball dispenser on my wall <laughs> as a child. My grandpa bought a bunch of those uh, lay stacks chips because they were they were like cheap they were on sale or whatever and i started as i was eating them i'd like cut them in half and i started making a track down my wall with them and uh, he hears me hammering in there one day so he asked me like what the hell are you doing in there he didn't say that because he's very religious or was very religious anyways and i i told him and he takes a look and he's like oh okay well that's fine you know whatever and then like a few days later he buys a shit ton more of those uh lay stacks things so that i would have more containers to cut in half so i could finish my gumball dispenser <laughs> it was it was really cool it was like all the way at the top i had i used one of them and like cut a little uh slit in it like a few of them so it had like a little trap door and then put a string on it so that like i could pull the string down and it would let some gumballs out of the little flap and then you would let go and because of you know made out of plastic it would shut for the most part didn't always work great but you know whatever i was a kid and uh, then it would go like back and forth down the wall and uh, down to the bottom to where I could then pick it up. And yeah, it was pretty cool. I like stupid stuff like that. I think that's like I also really like trains and uh, like uh, ant farms and and shit like that. You know, hamsters running around and, and through the tubes and everything. Just stupid stuff like that. I, I can yeah In each watch that stuff for hours. Six spots where you can start building coasters under a big sign saying coaster. Easy, huh? <laughs> I like trains. Me too. Me to too, coaster, my guy. Select coaster from the build menu or walk up to any coaster stand and take it from there. I'll be there to help. Legit question. Would you guys be interested in watching me play a game called Factorio? Because <laughs> uh, I'm thinking of doing that on Fridays. And uh, 
it it it's the trains made me think of it. It's it's a game about collecting resources on an alien planet, slowly building more and more complicated things. Um with automation though so like you you your machines dig up the resources for you and dump it on a conveyor belt that conveyor belt takes it to you know another machine where an arm grabs it and puts it into a building that then builds you a thing or whatever and then that thing goes on to a conveyor belt and you know just keeps building up higher and higher and then you can load things on train for longer distance travel and all that stuff it's uh, it's really cool but it's not everyone's cup of tea but it's something that i've been wanting to play more of i've never gotten around to beat it I have no idea how to say your name, but welcome to the chat, dude. Let's I'm I'm excited to try out Thrillville 2, to be honest with you. I've heard a lot of good things about it, but I've never actually played it myself. Like, for real. We tried playing it a couple months ago, a few months ago. It's been a little while, but uh, the game froze up on me, so I had to go get it had to go get it cleaned up a little bit. All right. Uh, I guess. I mean, the, the Ferris wheel is pretty, you know, like, iconic. But, like, what offers the most thrill? The Robo Spin? That's also a lot of nausea, though. Okay, they all have a lot of nausea. OptiJack, what's up, man? You still love Thrillville? I. You had the second one on PS2? How did I never play it? <laughs> Not that I can think of, at least. If we owned it. I don't know, man. Whatever. Uh, I don't know. Let's go. Let's just go with the. Let's just go with the first one, I guess. Robo spin. We're gonna have people throwing up all over the place, but who cares? You don't know? I said I've heard a lot of things about it, but I've never played it. There was one on the PlayStation One that I remember playing. Uh, I don't remember. It's like Theme Park something. Uh, I bought it on the PlayStation Three. Actually, I didn't have the actual PS One copy. I don't think. But I bought it on the PS Three, like the virtual console thing for PS Three, and played that one a lot. I really enjoyed it. But, I mean, it was the same sort of thing, right? You build up a theme park and... Maybe it's just called th Theme Park Manager great. or something. I don't know. Building coasters and attractions is one of the best parts about being the manager of Thrillville. You get to create the park of your dreams. I just saw your message. It reminds me of this PC game you had that was essentially build now a complicated mousetrap. Bruh, that sounds light. fun, too. I'm not going to lie. Up with you there. <laughs> Okay, so that, I don't remember if it was that one. I think it might have been that one that made us crash when we were trying it before, so we might be okay. Thrillville's upkeep requires consistent effort. Good thing you don't have to do it alone. That's what your staff are for. Mechanics help keep your ride reliability high. Groundskeepers keep the garbage under control. And entertainers cheer up the crowds. Cool, cool, okay. Staff got maintenance guys, we got entertainers. As as them, but they'll do much better with training. Bullfrog theme park is unrelated to Thrillville, but they're very similar. And training at Thrillville is Was that the one that I was situation. playing on PS1? It probably You'll was. You'll help your staff get more efficient by pitching it, in I think you're right. I think it was just done. called theme park. Theme park. This looks right, at least. Like, art style-wise and everything, it definitely looks like the PS1 one. Hold on, Bullfrog. I can't speak English. Bullfrog Theme Park PS1. Yeah, I think so. I think it was th Theme Park. Bullfrog's Theme Park. It looks. It looks right, at least. To hire, train, and fire staff, Hi, Drake, go to you your manage me, menu and select staff. Most likely, you're playing Theme Park or Sim Theme Park by Bullfrog. Let's start the first yeah, upkeep mission. Silence, what's up, my guy? Welcome, welcome. East Northumberland? <laughs> Hi, by Miley Cyrus is an all-time slammer. Wait, did they use, like, real music in the game? I might need to turn down the, the music if that's the case. <laughs> Copyright and all that BS. Yep, oh shit. <laughs> I didn't recognize any of it, so I didn't even think about it. Oh god, what are we actually doing here? Uh, what are we? Okay, uh, R1 doesn't seem to be cutting it. L1, got it. Okay, so L1 to to clean up the puke. I'm assuming it's R1 to pick up the trash. Yes. Okay. 
Good thing we don't, it doesn't seem like we have a, uh, a limited amount of, like, batteries or anything like that. We do have a limited amount of time, though. Oh, God, like, the trash moves. You actually have to, like, track it to suck it up. Get in my vacuum, my guy. God, please don't fail this. <laughs> fail the freaking tutorial. I like the puke. The puke is easy, man. You just kind of point at it, and it, it cleans itself up. Okay, one more. We got this. We got this. Nice, dude. How stream? Stream is great. Wait, wrecked my car, smacked Bambi. The <laughs> Holy shit, silence. I, are you okay? I, I agree with Optijag there. Holy hell, my guy. I hope you're doing all right. You know, it's weird. Like, Optijack just know, like saw that wreck that happened with a deer. My now, dentist, when I was at the dentist it, yesterday, was just telling me that he was in a car wreck, a uh, hit and a deer, and now you fucking hit a deer. Operating your part. Everyone, man. Remind me to watch out for deer, especially since I'm getting that new car here soon. Last thing I want is to get my new car and, like, the first night out just slam into a deer. That will not be... <laughs> uh, I hope not. <laughs> You're fine, you're at work. Okay. Okay, as long as you're okay, dude. Okay. Now head over to any other remaining column of light. We'll talk. Any other column of light. You got it, dude. Start the games tutorial. Many they're in run right now, so they're running around all the time. <laughs> too true, yes, too true. I know it's tough being a park manager, but someone's got to do it. You can play every game and ride every ride yourself by walking up to it and pressing the X button. You can spot games in the park by looking for stalls with big rotating statues on the top. Okay. All rotating statues are games. All are marked with a big sign that says coast. Roller Let's coasters are roller coasters. Games mission. That makes sense. So does this game like have a free play mode or is the whole thing story based? Uh, or is it like just the tutorial that's story based or, or whatever, like how it is now? The new fuel blend is perfected. Go check out the performance boost on the sci-fi racetrack. I vaguely remember this. I think I sucked at it. Design your own racetracks and challenge your friends. How do we how do we zoom? Is it X? I'm assuming X. Yes. Okay. It's <laughs> not not really zoom. S slow. Uh R1 L1 nothing. Do we have a break? I'm assuming square. Yeah. Okay. Oh god, man. Okay, the acceleration sucks. You really... Oh, no. Is it... It might be better to just ram into the walls, honestly, than it is to... To try and slow down and, and actually race smart. Just so you can get as much around the bend as possible early. Yeah, there we go, dude. Got to get those racing lines in. Oh, we're going to kick their ass, man. We got this. Easy. Easy, man. Got him by 60 ifs of a second. <laughs> Whatever. Five stars. Let's go. Do we get actual money for whooping a bunch of kids at a racing game in our own park? <laughs> that's, so you get to have quite all seem the fair. fun you want. And it's good for business. Now, that's what I call a win-win situation. And winning three or more stars in any game earns you cash, oh, it does. Hell which yeah, dude. you can use to buy more fun stuff for your park. You can also play games with your friends whenever you want in party play mode. Check it out some other time when you're not managing the park. Just two more columns of light now. All right, all right. What do we got? Start the business tutorial. Thrill Everyone's is favorite in good part. Shape when two things are healthy: guest happiness and cash flow. Managing the big picture is easier if you keep an eye on your park stats. The manage menu gives you lots of useful information about your park. It also shows cool. you ways to invest your cash, increase your research budget, promote uh, the park in I a marketing like campaign, or even take out a loan to increase your spending power. Use your cash to Sounds promote like a good the way park, to go bankrupt. and build new rides. Charge the right prices, and your profits and park value will soar as your guests have fun.
Keep checking back in your manage menu. Park statistics change all the time, and you'll need to keep your finger on the pulse to succeed. Let's start the first business. This park is bustling, but the rides are pretty standard. I need more money for my research so I can invent more crazy new rides. Increase research spending to $100 per month. Give money to Mortimer to develop cool and crazy rides? Okay. But let us go over. It will. <laughs> Screw well you, man. 100? No. 500. Give me them rides, Mortimer. On all the ongoings of your park, including the attractions you have yet to unlock. Over time, you'll be able to see how playing with the numbers can really have a big impact on your success. All right, now make your way over. Glass column of light, what do we got? The guest tutorial. The Teaching us how to, like, manage guest happiness or something? As park manager, one of your jobs will be to get to know them. You can talk to any guest by approaching... If you pay oh, attention to their interests okay, okay, as okay. you talk, I got guests you. will become your friends and remember you each time you meet. And what would a theme park be without love-struck teens? You can have some real fun and increase park happiness by helping teenagers flirt. Once convinced, the teen lets you take them over to go search for a sweetie. Uh, <laughs> that's the a little you odd, okay. Will let you challenge them to games, give you lots of useful information, and are happier. And a happy park is a successful park. Now, let's do the first guest's mission. While you're still learning your way around, mingle with the guests. You may just find out some useful information. Uh, John Smith, how are you, bud? Hello. Hey there. Don't hate me, but who are you again? Fair. Uh, the park manager. I'm the new park manager. That's an awesome job. You're so lucky. Hell yeah, dude. Uh, yeah, it's pretty yeah, good. Yeah, it's pretty fun. Uh, blinks? What the hell are blinks? For bat elephant trunks? What are you into, kid? Do you like ice cream? I love eating out at good restaurants. I like to go and see new places. When there's food there, that's fun, too. Okay. Do you like... Uh, nutrition. <laughs> I don't know. Talented. You have a lot of skills for such a little kid. Skill range, physical, emotional. Is that his stats? That must be his stats, huh? Thanks. Hey, we're friends. Um, do you like dust mites, <laughs> little boy? The oh, baseball. The first baseball team to wear an official uniform in 1849. You like baseball, baseball, right? Baseball, America's favorite pastime. Hell yeah, it is. Challenging paper, moonquakes, teeth, <laughs> just teeth. Uh, moonquakes, dude. The moon sometimes has quakes measuring up to 5.5 .5 on the Richter scale. I want to party on the moon. Uh, sure. Lucky to be a kid. Amazing secret, straight amazing secret. <laughs> What? We don't get to know the amazing secret? What kind of BS is that? What is the coolest? Uh, do you like lucky giraffes? Lame, I want to say, dude. Giraffes can clean their own ears with their 21-inch tongue. My tongue's longer than that, but I'm not going to show you. <laughs> okay, I don't think, apparently he didn't like that. Uh, you know, let's just go back. About the park. Um, you like gentle rides, so praise the gentle rides. You should check out the gentle rides. They're great fun. Yep, they're okay. I remember, man. He didn't care. <laughs> he cared not. Uh, do you have any park ideas? How do you think the park could be improved? You need some more bathrooms. He does really have to pee. That's, that's fair. Where did you hear about the park? Some kids on my team were talking about it. Team, baseball team maybe. Uh. What do you think about? It's good by me. I guess we'll just call it there for that little boy. I mean, we're friends See, with him now, at least. That That's good enough, right? Fun, wasn't it? Talking to people is going to tell you a whole lot about how well your park is doing.
Congratulations, kid. You've taken your first steps to becoming a fantastic theme park manager. Just remember that everything in the park is related. Everything. The guests help you decide what rides to open. The rides will bring in cash, and the cash will help you buy things to keep the guests happy. Anytime you want to, just jump into the options menu, and we can bring all of these great lessons back for a second run-through. Okay, you have fun. I've got mad scientist stuff to do. May the G-Force be with you. I'm facepalming right now. <laughs> New missions. Okay. Uh, ride a coaster. Let's do that, dude. I like that mission. What coasters do we have available? Is Lunarville a coaster? Wait, they just got cash laying around? <laughs> Why do they just have cash laying on the ground, dude? I mean, I'll gladly pick it up, but... Do we have, like, a run faster button? Oh, Triangle did something. Uh... Are we... What? What? <laughs> I don't know what we're doing right now. Are you sure we want to quit this game? Yes, I don't want to... What, what is even going on? Quit training. Are we training someone, or are we training me? Okay. Is it because I pressed triangle? No, I must have, like, accidentally talked to one of them or something. One of the, the cleaning people. Oh, because triangle's the talk button. I got you. Okay, well, everyone seems to need to use the bathrooms. Can we... Build. Stalls. Uh... Is there a restroom? There we go. We need restrooms up in here, dude. Okay. Build it right. I mean, this looks like a perfectly fine spot, I, I guess. We're going to want people to still be able to get back here. Maybe we just hide it in the back so they have to walk past everything else to get to it. Stuff it, stuff it in the corner. That's good enough. There you go. Can't even see it because of the trees, but that's fine. <laughs> you got your bathroom, little boy. I hope you're happy. And, of course, it teleported us all the way over here. Good, good, good. Hey, here's a coaster. That'll work. What is this thing? It's glowing. A fuel canister. I wonder what that's used for. Uh, real quick, because I'm going to forget. Let's turn down the radio a little bit. I'm not going to turn it off, but I'm going to turn it down at least. Let's ride this coaster. The diner dropper? Sure. Yes, I would like to ride. Look around. Uh, <laughs> you know what would be cool? It's, like, unrealistic. Well, I mean, they have them with, like, laser and whatnot. But anyways, uh, the, the, the coaster rides that they give you, like, a little laser gun or whatever, and you have to, like, shoot targets as you're running around. That would be really fun in this, uh, in this game. Oh, God, I'm gonna get sick. <laughs> I'm not even actually on the coaster. I'm gonna get... It's over? Well, that was short as hell. Your anxiety is already high. Ride a coaster, stand-up coaster. That was a stand-up coaster? Aren't they? It looks to me like they're sitting down, my guy. Okay, missions. What else do we have? Target practice, thirst quencher. Uh... Sure, let's build a target practice. Ah, uh, I want to play mini golf. Do we already have one of those? No, it would say that. Space translate shoot zone robot invasion. I don't see the thing here. I think maybe we were in the wrong section for it, but I don't even care. I want to play mini golf, my guy. Can we, like, can we squeeze it in back here? Yeah. Excellent. Which build method would you like? Build your own? 
build your own mini golf course that's pretty sick we're gonna do pre-built right now just because we don't have a whole lot of time but that's pretty cool dude the pup palace uh, let's go so what it ranges 76 74 and 72 let's just go right in the middle man ghouls ghastly golf or black hole in one i'm kind of feeling ghouls ghastly golf dude i wish we got a little bit of a preview of it that would have been nice now can we play it is there like actually a mini golf mini game here for us to do controls Toggle scoreboard, start power ball, again to hit ball. Aim with those things. Okay. Bruh, I love mini golf. Can I see... Can I move the camera around at all? Uh, that's better, yes. I have no idea how hard to hit it. Half power. Let's fucking go, dude. Hole in one. I'm going to kick everyone's ass. Get the camera down low here. And then... Uh, okay, this one may not go as well. Honestly, I feel like we should have just hit it straight again. How is this, like, ghouls, ghastly, whatever, though? Ah! Uh, ah! Uh, oh, it literally bounced off. I just hit it too hard. Some bitch. That's probably too gentle. No, okay. So, the ball actually kind of goes, even when you hit it softly. Oh, we got a hump. Okay, so if we hit it too hard, it's probably going to go flying over the hump. So, like, this hard. Fucking love mini golf. Me too, dude. For real. Let's go! Hole in one. Kicking ass. I'm just going to slam it, dude. Okay. <laughs> I, I didn't I didn't expect that. I thought it would at least, you know, stay in bounds. I didn't realize it was going to like knock us out. Oh, and that counted as three strokes. Oh, we're trash. Oh god, we are we are really trash. <laughs> okay, here we go. Right in the center of the pole, hit it gently. Not too hard now, just nice and easy. So we're at zero now. Uh okay, if we get it like a little bit over that hump, and then come down the next side. Uh, okay. I thought it was going to be a little more dramatic than that, not going to lie. Look, I'm just excited that there's actual, like, playable mini golf in the game. How many? Ho nine holes. Um. Okay. Par of two. Really? Seems like more than a par two to me, man. Actually, not bad. We got this. We Gucci. Fuck. <laughs> I lied. <laughs> Damn it. We were so close to having an even score, man. Come on. Come on. Come on. A little bit farther. Ah, oh, dude. Dude. Whatever. Triple bogey. Okay. Can we just go, like, straight for it? Mm, this game sucks. <laughs> I see where the ghoul's ghastly thing comes from or whatever. There's, there's mushrooms. <laughs> Everyone knows mushrooms are super ghastly. Is this, is this shot possible from here? It is. Yes. That's probably too hard. That was way too hard. It's fine.
Last hole. Oh, there's a jump? Bro, this is this is what I'm here for. No! Bounce in! I'm so angry right now. Okay, full power. Just slam it. Right in there. Let's go. Not hard enough? What? Surprisingly, though, we might still hit par. Oh, no. Too hard. Mm, what are these balls made out of, dude? Freaking rubber? <laughs> Just bouncing all over the place. Game over. What do we get? Plus four? I mean, look. Not terrible. Four stars for it? Dude, I'll take it. I will take it gladly. Research suspended swinging? Okay, what other what other missions do we have? Oh wait, that's right. We needed to build a uh thirst quencher. So fizzy drink stall or coffee stall? Probably fizzy drink. Is the game automatically picking the section for us to build this stuff in, or is it based on like proximity? To where we are. Do we have enough room to build like a little food court over here? We might. Guessing I can't build it here because it's taking out too much of the like legs. Mr. Noodle, thank you so much for the five bits, love. I appreciate you. Get a thirst quencher down in here. Small marketing boost. Very cool. I can use the stall use wait do I have like my own thirst meter and shit or something hi are you thirsty uh lady she doesn't want to talk to me that's fine I didn't want to talk to you anyways target practice and hat tricks people love to take home souvenirs of a great throw of the day out okay Sure. Hat tricks. So hat stalls? I'm assuming that's what they want us to build. Where's the entrance to that? Over there? Or is that the exit? Kind of want to put like food right next to the drink. So I'm going to throw this off to the side here. Or maybe like in the front. So they have to walk past... They have to walk past the gift shop <laughs> to get to the food. Give it that prime real estate, man. Let everyone get a good look at it. Small research boost. Very nice. And then... Speeding bullet. A fast coaster. Top speed faster than 20 miles per hour. Isn't that... That feels a little slow, honestly. For a uh, for a roller coaster ride, twenty miles per hour. Oh, this is this is a big boy, huh? Okay, next site. What do we have over here? Some sort of ride and a food stand. Can I hold on? Select other. I want to put you like. I guess here? I don't know. It feels like a bad spot for it, honestly, but whatever. I don't know if, like, placement actually matters in this game or not. I'd like to play the Shoot Zone Robot Invasion minigame. Yes. Whenever we come back, dude, we'll try it out. Why not? But I do need to take a quick break. I really need to stretch my legs, and uh, I kind of got to pee. Throwville Robot Invasion. Keep an eye on the mini-map. Enemies are everywhere. Okay. Will do. Will do. Well, the game's taking a moment to load, and that's fine. Like I said, I gotta stretch my legs and take a pee anyways. So we will BRB, guys. Yes.
three PS4 or something like that, right? I remember Rue, you've talked about it a couple times, but I don't remember exactly which console it was on or anything. Okay, he's gonna do an attack. I wanna kill a couple more of the Valkyries so that our Muggle Seed can grow. Okay, this is going better as I'm starting to get used to the game again. And that's enough to grow, question mark, I think. PS3 and 4, actually. It's on both. Okay. Oh, nice. Just fucking hit us in the back, dude. Oh, hi there, guy. Come on. Just go down already. There's our muggle. We'll take that. That's health, I think. <laughs> I don't remember how much health exactly, but it's better than the uh, carrots that we've been eating, I'm sure. Oh, good miss on me. We're definitely not going to get a good rank here, but I think we have a chance of beating him this time, at least. If I, uh, if I stop missing <laughs> with every attack, that is. Oh, he's, like, guarding, isn't he? What if we hit him from the back? Does that go through? Oh, yeah, you thought. Run away, run away. <laughs> Rebuild our pal, please. <laughs> the remake fixed so many problems and some of the new battles were a real challenge. Like those dwarfs in their airship. I haven't even seen the dwarfs. Hey, we killed him. Oh, thank goodness. I wasn't even paying that much attention. Uh, we probably have enough Fozons floating around to grow something else. We have a crap ton of Muggles, but we also have Mulberries, which uh, are pretty decent. Oh, you know what's really good, though? The Grapes. Do I think we're going to get 12 Fozons? Maybe. Let's try it. Oh, yeah. More than enough Fozons floating around here. Hell freaking yeah. And let's uh, soak up whatever's left. Try to get our, our magic leveled up a little bit. That's a, a B rank? Really? I'm surprised we got even that much. I expected it to be something super low. Take our money. An alchemy mix? What do we get? Release a poisonous cloud that crawls forward and poisons enemies. Uh, level 6 plus carrots. Very cool. Very cool. And then what else? We left some other shit laying around here, I'm pretty sure. A level 0 material. Very nice. And that looks like it. You love what they did with it, Room? It's so unique and showed off the engineering capabilities of the dwarf. You actually have, but they aren't in this specific area. They're the ones who throw bombs. Oh, gotcha, gotcha. And it really fits the lore. I mean, that's always nice, you know? It sucks whenever uh, <laughs> somebody comes out with a new piece of material for something. And it just destroys the lore. Alright, uh, let's see. Get seeds with seeds. Our inventory is a giant mess. We have so many things. Uh, we need a little bit of health, so let's eat some food. How about we start with that? <laughs> Let's, uh, let's get our food back up first. Let's see. Grapes restore 45. What's the muggle do again? I don't remember. 30. Let's do the grapes. Because the muggle will also leave a seed, so it won't really clear up inventory space. Although, I guess, technically, the grapes also leave a grape stem, which is something I didn't even know about until just, like, now. But whatever. We can always just throw those at people or sell them for, what is it, like a single copper piece or whatever? Something stupid cheap. And there's hidden skills and elements for each character? That's pretty sick. Like in the remake, or is that in this one as well? All right, all right, guys, we are back. Uh, we're going to try this out real quick, and then we're, I think we're going to build a roller coaster. You know we gotta build a roller coaster before we get out of here. How do we shoot? Uh, there we go. Um, what are you umming? I don't, I don't like random ums. That scares me. <laughs> Did something break? Oh, okay. We can like, can you have to pee? I'm okay. I stretched my legs and I felt okay. I didn't know. I thought you were still in the shower to be honest. So, <laughs> but I'll be fine. Do we have like a... Oh, there's a power meter. Okay. 
I mean, you can come and get one, love. I'm not gonna say no to a kiss. What is this? Is this a different gun? Oh, it's a shotgun. Let's go. Take that, you... Oh, God. Okay, I did not expect this, man. I thought whenever we, we put in a little shooting game, I thought it was gonna be like, you know, like a video arcade game or something like that. Not us piloting giant mechs murdering each other. No way. Oh. Oh, we can switch between guns. Very cool. What is this? Can we jump? We can jump. Can I get up to the top of this tower? Maybe. I don't have the platforming prowess to to accomplish that. How do I get out of here? I'm I'm lost. Help. Okay. Uh how did we get in here? Oh, the door right in front of me, dumbass. <laughs> I see guys on the map. Okay, what kind of gun is this? Oh, dual wheel pistols. Kind of. <laughs> Eat that, robot scum. Oh, but once they okay. Once they run out of power though, they have a they have a long recharge time. Gotcha. I like the shotgun, I think, man. Noodle is so sad out there. <laughs> Very sad. Noodle can come up here. Noodle is capable of doing that. She may be blind and deaf, but her legs work just fine. Uh. Oh, God. Did we get him? We got him. His back hurts. I'm sorry, love. I will come down soon. I promise. So sad, so sorry, six bits. <laughs> that just sounds like antagonization, if anything. I don't know, man. I mean... <laughs> oh, God. Poor Noodle. Thank you, Chocobo. I appreciate you, my guy. <laughs> There's still 38 robots running around here somewhere. Can you actually kill them? Oh, there's something on top there. Now we got to get up there. We shot his leg off. Get wrecked. Okay. We got, what, three minutes to make it up there? I, we can do this. Do we have, like, a jet pack? No. Can we jump that high? Uh, kind of. Oh, okay. We were we were on something. Just keep pressing jump. That that worked. <laughs> I, don't, I don't know why that worked, but that worked. Wait, did you change the game while I was showering? No, this is still, believe it or not, this is still Thrillville. Thrillville's just, it's one of the, it's one of the games within the game. I heard you like games, so I gave you a game to play while, while you play your game. Uh, game? <laughs> Geometry? Broken? I expected there to be something over here. There's nothing. But we can still get that capsule. We have time. I don't know what the capsules do. But apparently we have three of five. Do you have dishes up there? A uh, couple. Is this like a rocket launcher or something? Uh, where is the last capsule? There's a dude in here. How do we get him? Why are you shooting me? Uh, I'm calling wall hacks, dude. You shouldn't be able to see me right now. You'll get dressed and come and get them. Okay. It's just a, a plate and a little bowl from the carrots? Question mark that we were eating last night. How did you get in here? Wait. Yeah. Okay, so this thing like shoots quickly, but isn't very powerful. Honestly, I thought, like, when we picked it up, I thought it was going to be, like, a rocket launcher or something, not a, uh, not a dinky thing like that. Where's this last capsule? Oh, hi, friend. Oh, they just, like, spawn in. I was wondering how there was, like, 30-some robots left, and yet I was struggling to find any of them. You were eating, you didn't share? I'm fairly certain you ate a couple of them. I admit my memory's pretty poor, but did you not eat a couple of them? 
I think you stole some of my carrots and you just don't want to admit it. Get wrecked. You didn't want any. Well, <laughs> Where is this last capsule, man? Oh, well, we're out of time. Guess it doesn't matter. I did not mean to X through that so quick. Oh, well. All right, let's build a fucking roller coaster, dude. I mean, I feel like a theme park game, that's like the meat and potatoes of it, you know? Building roller coasters. I suck at it. Just warning you. I want, I want money, please. Okay. Uh, not tutorials. Not options. Go back. God, square. Missions. Uh, is it under build? Speeding bullet. Coasters. I want to look at the pre built but we're going to build our own. We have the Turbo Tangle. The Constrictor. The D Diner Dropper. We play that one. The Distortion. The Ovation. Baron Von Brooklyn, <laughs> the Suspenderizer, and the rest are all locked. Okay, can we do the Railgun? Master the basic controls and concepts of track. Final guide to building. How to use awesome loops. Banking. Uh, would you like to begin with a tutorial? We probably should, huh? Actually. So let's just do basic coaster and work our way up, maybe. Welcome to the basic Yo, coaster hi. construction tutorial. Before you know it, you'll be building coasters you could only dream of. We always start building our coasters from a coaster station. So coaster the guests station, got it. On and off. Makes sense, huh? It does. It does. Oh man, you better head to bed, guys. You got homework you need to do, and NCL starts tomorrow, and you're team captain this season. Hell yeah, dude. Are you excited to be team captain? That's pretty cool. But have a good night, dude. <laughs> Thank you for coming and hanging out with us for a little bit, Rue. I do appreciate you, and I hope that you have fun with that. Congrats on being team captain this season, too. That's awesome, bro. If you like coffee, hunt down the coffee made brown butter chocolate chip coffee creamer. It's Chef's Kiss. <laughs> this she wants me to try it. And I don't even drink sugar. The like out coaster ahead. Try using the right analog stick to get a better. Let's begin by placing two straight track pieces in a row. Go ahead. Play now for a okay. curved piece. Tap the left directional button or move the left analog stick until you've matched the gray track piece. Then press the X button to place your track the, piece. Oh, directional button. Oh. There we go. Can we give it a little bit of a a little bit of a curve when we do that? It won't let us, huh? Oh no, we can't curve like and curve at the same time. Great. Lame. Now, Coffee makes you tired. You might turn. have a DHD, my guy. <laughs> now, Isn't that a thing that people say? Like when you have ADD or ADHD or whatever. The right directional button. Let's go. That you uh. Make the track. Now, place that caffeine like now, won't affect you correctly or whatever. Off the track. Tap once again to take the. Co Let's make it. St now place two more steep down. Start to level. Get the track. Press the X. Okay, I, I get now, how to do this, my guy. Great. Now all that's left to do is link up with the beginning of the track. Start track assist holding by holding R1. down the R1. Track assist is a really useful, clever. Oh, event so like it just builds it for you all the time to help in any tricky situation. Maybe I'm diabetic. Well, completely up with right the end of coasters. Oh no. <laughs> I uh I I wholeheartedly believe that you should get your your sugar levels checked at some point. <laughs> to be fair, man. You uh you eat a lot of sugar, my like guy. <laughs> Do you feel thirsty a lot? Do you ever get like does your heart ever race a little bit? Get get the get get some jitters, a little bit of nausea sometimes maybe. So that's that's all we had to do to build a coaster. I feel like this is going to be a very lame coaster. Yes. <laughs> just just yes. <laughs> uh, 
<laughs> you may be diabetic, my friend. <laughs> I don't know if you're going to live, man. Without all the sugar, I mean. <laughs> so can we, like, rebuild this coaster? This coaster's kind of trash. Was that an actual coaster in our park, or was that just tutorial section doesn't count? I'm really surprised we can't combine banks and turns at the same time. Build your own coaster. Uh, Stand-up coaster? Twisting coaster. Corkscrew. Suspended swinging. I mean, I guess we want some toe numbness from time to time. That's like some advanced diabetic stuff right there, man. I was just talking about like some of the basic stuff, you know? Your sugar spikes and then you start having some... That's like your sugar's been way too high for way too long. And your body's like, nah, bro, I'm done with this. <laughs> You've got down a lot on sugar late. That's good. That's actually good. I mean, that's... that's For most people, that's a good idea anyways. But uh, for you, for you especially, I think that's probably, yeah. Stream feels in his face when he has too much. Look, that's the weird thing though, right? Because like... I can eat things with more sugar and not ha get this weird feeling in my face, but it's like super rich things when I eat it. I get this weird feeling in my face. I don't know what it is. I have no idea if it has to do with my own uh, hypoglycemia or what, but like, I I just, it's weird. <laughs> it's, it's done it for a long time, a long time. Uh, I don't really feel it, like, it doesn't happen so much these days, but I also eat very little to no sugar these days, so that, that might be why? <laughs> I don't know. It's a weird thing, though, and, uh, as far as I know, it's not, it's not normal. <laughs> okay, well, I'm guessing a twisting coaster, stand-up coaster, I don't know, they require, like, the same amount of power. We just need to get one that goes at least, like, 20 miles per hour, which doesn't sound too hard okay so there's already one here and here oh wait we only have two coaster sites oh well, i didn't plan on selling one but uh you know what this driving one sucks super sci-fi raceway sell it get wrecked place track hi noodle All right, uh, so let's go ahead and just go straight a little bit. And then can we just go, like, straight up. Will it do that? So that's flat. Let's go. Let's go ahead and just get her going, like, vertically. I'm assuming it will climb this, right? I don't actually know if it will or not. Is there a... L1 plus R1 stats. Max speed, 31. Well, that was easy enough. How high can we go? Apparently, that's about as high as we can go. Is this even? No, that's... Okay, this is even. Can we take it through that cityscape over there? Probably not, huh? So maybe we should, like, bring it around... This way, can we turn and go down at the same time? Okay, so we can bank. I, I wish that money thing would get out of the middle of the screen. That's kind of annoying. Uh, okay, that's that's probably not. Oh, dude, just vertical drop right on top this other one here. <laughs> We're going through the other one. <laughs> Two near guests. Okay. Hold on. Delete a section. We need to... There we go. Flatten it out. Ah, damn it. Can we... Can we make it work? We can't make it work. I wonder what the track assist would do at this point. Oh, I found a way to make it work. Hold on. That 
Oh, wait, that just gets us, like, turned around. You know what? That's fine. And then can we put in, like... Wasn't there a way to do, like, loops and shit? Yeah, dude. Do we have enough speed? Go ahead. Throw it in there. And then... Flat loop right. Corkscrew left. Corkscrew right. Straight out of that into the corkscrew. Let's go. <laughs> And then if we have enough speed left, let's just get some hills here at the end. Too near guests. Well, you're too near guests. Son of a bitch. Can you just get us home at this point? No. No, you cannot. Okay. Uh, can we go over this other one here? Too near other attraction. That's fair. Maybe if we go around it. Take it back. What? What do you mean too near attraction? There should be zoning laws in Thrillville. I agree completely. Still too near attraction? Trash, dude. Can I get it to go through here? Oh. Oh, let's go. Okay. And then down. Down. Oh, my lord. Okay, hold on. If we... Back, back, okay. We need to level it out. Is this level? Shoot. Track assist, please. <laughs> I need I need help. I don't know how to get it back in here. Nothing. It's impossible. Uh okay. What if we just, like, take it up a lot higher? Oh, Lord. This is not what I wanted at all. There we go. This should, this should get us in, right? I think we're too close. Hold on. Take it back. Come on. Get us get us home. It's right there, dude. There's got to be a way to get it in there. Uh, no. Is there a way to like tell it to take us home? Shoot. Okay. I want to I want to start coming down. There we go. Okay. Come on. Track assist. Build it. Uh, can I try it before we <laughs> finish it? It's only got a max ver uh, vertical G of 8. I'm sure that's fine, right? <laughs> Nausea 59? That's actually doesn't seem that bad. Okay. Uh, yes. Keep the changes. Let's see what happens, dude. Is anyone going to die? Is this the one we just built? It is. It's probably going to be trash, but let's try it. Oh, that's all the higher we actually climb? Oh, this part here. That, <laughs> that was so dumb. <laughs> Uh, okay. You know what? Besides this ending bit here, oh, uh, we could have. We had so much speed. 
we could have kept this going for so much longer, dude. I mean, other than the fact that it's kind of short, it doesn't seem that bad. I think for our first coaster, man, the only thing I really would have liked would have been to make it much longer. Because, like, we still had so much speed. We could have we could have taken that around a lot more. Maybe got another, like, loop in there somewhere or something. But all these stupid rides over here were getting in the way. I do think it's really cool, though, that, like, when you're riding this thing, for instance, you'll see the, the other ones, the, the roller coasters zipping around you and shit. That's pretty cool. Oh, God. Okay. Talk about nausea. Uh, I, I want off this ride, please. Daddy, no. I don't like it. Okay. We're good. I get off that. Uh. Okay. We never actually made it through Lunarville. I want to see what the other half of the park looks like <laughs> before we before we get out of here. I also kind of want to see what the next park looks like, but I don't think we're going to have time. How many more missions do we have to do to unlock it, I wonder? Ooh. Oh, wait a second. Wait, there's other coasters over here? Why couldn't I destroy one of these ones? <laughs> what is that one? That one actually looks kind of neat. I am going to hop on that one real quick. You just go around. Oh, and you drop through the center? That's pretty cool. Let me hop on this one real quick. Ride, star catcher, let's go. Okay, so we corkscrew up. And then, okay, now we go around the center. See, they did a banking turn. Why couldn't I do a banking turn? And, oh, oh. S Oh, man, if that was just a little bit shorter so it didn't have to pull you up there at the end, that would have been great. Still, again, really short. Roller coasters aren't that short in real life, are they? I admit I've only ever ra uh, ridden a, a handful of them, but it feels really short. All right, missions. What else do we need? Uh, Upkeep. I've left some canisters uh my new go-kart around the park. See if you can prevent another explosion by finding them for me. Okay. Staff to help us on one more mechanic, entertainer, and groundskeeper. Okay, so we need to hire a mechanic. How do we hire new? This is manage. Oh, hire, circle. Hire a mechanic. Hire groundskeeper. Hire entertainer. And then... So you guys all kind of suck. Train. Oh, we actually have to do the training? Uh, hello. Does anybody want me to dance for them? <laughs> hello, family. Do you do you like when I dance for you? Oh, it's going to be a mini game. Watch the life gauge. This indicate how satisfied the crowd is with your performance. If it drops to zero, it's game over. If your life drops to zero, it's game over. Okay. Uh Okay, so we have to this is not what I thought it was going to be. Look, I'm sorry. They should have just did it like DDR style or something. I don't know if I like this whole spinning around the thing and pressing X. I would rather just be like press X, circle, square, or triangle, depending which direction they're coming from or whatever. I would probably also do a lot better in that case. <laughs> This really didn't need to be this long either. Come on. I think I've been going to the wrong theme parks, dude. I've never been to a theme park where they have groups of cheerleaders just randomly dancing in the streets. I was expecting the entertainers to be, like, a dude dressed up in a mouse costume or some shit, honestly. Hey. 
Oh god, oh god. Alright, not too bad, not too bad. 74,000 points, that seems decent. Awesome, it's awesome. Did you get some levels from that at least? Are you not a, a trash entertainer anymore? Quit training. Uh, okay, menu, manage, staff, training 89. Holy hell, okay, so that, that actually gets them, like, way up there. Alfie, how do, how does the mechanics minigame, Alexander or Alfie? Let's do, uh, let's do Lunarville train. Do we like go over to the ride? Maintain. Oh wait, that one's already at reliability 100 though. Are any of them below 100? Is this coaster about to like eat a bunch of children? No. <laughs> all the roods, roods, all the rides are probably like new, or at least at least relatively new. So I can't imagine there will be too many that really need servicing. Uh, can I collect whatever this is as him? Apparently I can. You know what? Whatever. <laughs> just maintain it. It's got 100% reliability. We're probably just going to make it worse, but I don't know how this works. So let's try it out. With crossover pieces, the circuit will usually have to go back on itself. Excellent tip. Thank you. Uh oh. Okay. Uh, what are we? Oh, so we just have to connect the things? What am I trying to connect it to? There's more, right? Like, that was just level one? No, that was... What? <laughs> How do we only get four stars for that? Hold on. Let's go to, like, an actual ride real quick. There's no way it's that easy, right? Maybe the roller coaster. Or maybe it's just like the less reliable it is currently, the harder it is to to fix. That was literally just throw a bunch of straight pieces down though. That was How did we get less than five? I'm very upset about that. <laughs> Some doesn't seem right here. Try again. Okay, so now we actually have to do a turn, it looks like. Oh, we have to use the pieces that they give us. I mean... Uh... Again, though, like, it gave it to... It gave us the pieces in the correct order, so all we had to do was place them down? I don't know, whatever. Well, we did it, at least. Now we know what that is. And this dude should be properly trained. Uh, there's, like, nothing here in this section. So, maybe let's get some games. Sparkle Island. Little Tim Twinklefinger thinks he's the princess saving Fios on the Sparkle Island arcade machine. How many can you save to show off the game to the other guests? No. No, I don't want to start to talk to that person. Uh, I'll be honest. I don't really want to play any of the games. <laughs> They're not that good. Uh, Super-powered sales. Stalls are a great source of income, so why not have a sales drive? By fine-tuning the prices, we'll get those cash registers ringing. Next. 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 Okay. What? Wait, what were we actually doing for that mission? Borrow money and see if your park is making a profit. I don't need to borrow money, though. Adjust loan? No, we don't need that. Scroll. Okay, that's our, that's our sales and shit. Got it. I see our profits, but I can't adjust it. What are we doing? Demographics, marketing, research, staff, graphs, overview, maybe? I 
I'm I'm obviously missing something here. Missions, business, superpowered sales, achieve fifty dollars monthly stall profit. Oh, okay. So how do we actually how do we actually change them? Balloon stall. Edit. Set sale price. Sell an attraction customer. Set sale price. Fifty cents each for a balloon. Seventy-five cents. Get wrecked. Sparkle Island. Is it is it this month? Income profit. Customers twenty-three. Let's lower the price to three fifty. Wait, cost seventy five cents? What? Ticket price three fifty this month costs Oh, that's how much it costs us to run it this month? What was the ticket price before? I was reading this all wrong. Nine fifty for that ride? That seems ridiculous. Hold on. Let's get that down to like eight seventy five, dude. Okay, well <laughs> What else do we actually need? There's like, is there a bathroom over here? There's probably not a bathroom over here. Let's get us pizza. Let's get some pizza, dude. Hopefully there's not already a pizza stall over here. Uh, Let's get some like pizza right here. And then... Wait. This is the way in actually. So hold on. Let's go over here. Let's get pizza here. And then let's get a restroom because obviously after eating that pizza, you're going to need to take a shit. Oh, where, where, where'd I go? There we, there we are. Uh, this way. I think that's the front. Okay restroom and then drinks can we charge money for the restrooms i wonder i think that was something you could do in the blue frog theme park or whatever it was coffee uh, thirst minus 89 percent nausea plus 10 let's do coffee i know we have a fizzy drink one on the other part and apparently that causes nausea which isn't something we need nice and let's get a let's get a ride over here too, because we don't have any rides right now in this section. Carnival rides. Uh, what do we got that's new? Claustrophobia and gravity well. The gravity well I think fits in this section pretty well. Where's the entrance? I don't know which one's entrance and which one's exit. Um. Honestly, we probably should have put this in the back and then put all that stuff in the front, but... Oh, well. That's fine. <laughs> now, gravity well. How the hell does this work? Is that is this the ride where you just, like, get in it and it spins in circles? It is! I legit... This is one of the full carnival rides I actually enjoy. Oh, wait, you're, like, buckled into this one? I thought it was that one that, like, you're not buckled into. It just spins around so fast that you stick to the wall. It's definitely based off that. Because, yeah, see, it's lifting up. And now you're... Oh, man. This game makes me nauseous. But that's a fun ride. That's, that's legit a decent ride. I like that one. All right. Let's talk to you people. Happiness 82, challenge 80, hunger. Okay, well, your hunger should be okay. I gave you some drinks. Uh, Laura. Hello. Hey, what's going on? It's a pleasure. Um. Challenge. It's time for a challenge. You and me. I'm in. You pick the game. Oh, God. Um, I don't, uh, uh, I, I auto sprint. I don't even know what this is. I don't know what we just got ourselves into. 
Thrillville Autosport. Avoid the other cars. They can slow you down. It's fine. We don't need to see... Th oh, it's this? I suck at this. <laughs> Which car am I? I'm blue. Oh, God. We're, <laughs> we're losing so bad, dude. She's never gonna respect our park if we lose. Is there, like, turbo or something? Where is she? How did she get so far ahead of us? I, I legit, I don't even know where she's at. She wrecked us, dude. By damn near a whole second. Hold on. Okay. Best two out of three. Oh my gosh. She's so good at this game. Get wrecked, bitch. Oh, fuck. She got that corner nice and early. Come on. Let's go. No. No, 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 no. No, 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 no. We got her. We... Oh, God. No, maybe not. We were beating her. Why do I suck? Okay. One more. One more. Best out of five. <laughs> Oh, wait, is the track different this time? It is. Okay. I don't know if that's good or bad for me. Oh, God, definitely bad for me. She is so much better than me at this. Love? Yes, love? Oh, man, we got her. There's no way she catches up this time. Let's go. Get wrecked. Wait, how many... <laughs> how many is there? Okay. Oh, God. Get off the wall. This is... This is so bad. Oh, God. Oh, God. Did you tell me what else Scrub Daddy makes? What else does Scrub Daddy make? Noodle has a Scrub Daddy obsession, by the way. It's a... It's an actual problem. Shopping bags? What the hell do you need a scrub daddy shopping bag for? Let's go, dude. So that's what, two to two? Can you just cheat? Like, what happens if you just go around, like, shortcut style? Oh, God, she's going to win this one. It's like our Walmart one. Oh god. Oh god, get off the wall. I'm going to I'm going to cheat, dude. Hold on. Yeah, okay. It didn't it didn't like that. <laughs> fair, fair. I didn't think it would work, but I was I was curious. You do not have a scrub daddy problem. You definitely have a scrub daddy problem. How many are there? How is this not over yet? I don't know what's going on. Okay. I think we got her on this one, too. If I get my ass off the wall. I hope this is the last one, man. Like, I'm fine with this. <laughs> with a little bit of this. But this is a bit overkill. Not gonna, not gonna lie. We go to Ace to replace Bartholomew. She named... Her scrub daddy uh, dish wand. By the way, if anyone's curious who the hell Bartholomew is, it's not a person. It's just it's just our fucking dish wand. <laughs> Coming from the lady that claims to not have a scrub daddy obsession. They sell them there. Of course they do. Of course they do. Well 
done. Yep, get wrecked. Instantly friends. Um, what's your opinion what do you on think the, about park? the park? I really like it here. Cool. What do we need? How do you think the park could be improved? That lady just phased through me. Excuse me. Is that a? Is she a ghost? Is this place actually haunted? Are we built on like an ancient Indian burial ground and suddenly the zombies are going to rise and destroy us all? That would be fun. That's a cool idea for a game. <laughs> you need to get some more food stalls. I just put in pizza. What are you talking about? Go eat the pizza. Where did you hear about the park? Some people at the store were talking. Some people at the store. Okay. Hold on. We didn't actually check out the marketing at any point. Is it under manage? Marketing. Teen monthly. The daily gossip. Parenting for success. <laughs> Teen appeal. None. Adult appeal. None. <laughs> Nobody likes this magazine. <laughs> the national newspaper. Witch mansion. The kitty's channel. <laughs> oh, God. Hoon's TV. Very, very good for the, uh, for the teens, huh? Hoon's TV. Sure. Let's, uh, Noodle, thank you so much for the five bits, love. I appreciate you. Sure you want to start a campaign. One start, it cannot be changed during its run. Sure, run it. Cool, we did it. Yay, we're marketing now. We're so close, man, to getting to the next park. Is there, like, can we just build something else? Wait, did I not? Place a pre- Oh, it has to be pre-built. Okay. Buy a pre-built. Does it show top speed anywhere? Um, spiral galaxy, crazy comet, crazy stardust has a high thrill rating. That's got to do it. Obstruction can be deleted. Wait, what's the obstruction? Is it the other roller coaster? <laughs> I think it is, so that's not going to work. Okay. Uh, what else has a high throw rating? Lunarville Light Wave has a decent one. There we go. That one fits. That's got to be at least 20 miles per hour, right? Please? I hope so. <laughs> hey, there we go. Okay. And it looks like we might have unlocked the next park. So how do we actually go to the next park? Park complete. Timed golf minigame unlocked. Park 2 unlocked. Let's go, dude. Park select. Yes. Level selection screen. You never did find your book? What book? Part 2. Thrillville Time Warp. It's got a picture of a dinosaur noodle. Thrillville Time Warp has seen better days. Supply a little TLC to restore its glories. Well, kid, you clearly got talent. Or this Mr. Moneybags Vernon Garrison character wouldn't have jumped on the theme park bandwagon all of a sudden. <laughs> Global joy. What a laugh. Even if he had all the money Dinosaurs the world, and time warps. <laughs> like my newest brainstorm. Audio responsive nanotechnological color changing wonder paint. With this, nothing gets old or out of style. Now think how that would reduce waste. Go... Better yet, it will let us change roller coaster colors whenever we want. With the snap of a finger, you can change it to orange or green. Oh no, this is batch 23, not batch 32. Can you head over to Thrillville Time Warp while I repaint with the right formula? That's some pretty cool paint, dude. I want that paint in my room. <laughs> I'm into the whole unicorn vom vomit aesthetic, man. Just changing colors constantly. I dig it. I sent you here to Thrillville Time Warp to help us do some damage control. This park may be a classic, but that time travel spirit should come from the scenery, not from tired, outdated rides. It'll need a little spit and polish to keep Time Warp ahead of this new global joy monstrosity. I hope you're up to the challenge. 
This looks like a pretty cool park, man. I'm not gonna lie. I would like to visit it IRL. Dude, you just walk in and got this giant T-Rex murdering people? I love it. Oh, we have $2. <laughs> How do we... Oh, God. <laughs> okay. So, it turns out tutorial, uh, non-tutorial theme park might be a little bit harder than, than tutorial theme park. Theme park? Theme park. Str stronglish. English isn't my strong suit. God, I suck. I can't. I can't speak. Uh, we're gonna ride a ride, and I think that's where we're gonna end the stream, dude. <laughs> Otherwise, I'm gonna, I'm gonna lose it. I'm gonna, gonna have an aneurysm or something. <laughs> oh god. Do we at least have like a working ride here that we can that we can hop on? Maybe a roller coaster. There's that pistol thing. That looks kind of neat. Then you can help find my book. I still don't know what book you're looking for. Did you ever say? I don't think you did. No, I think everything's broken. Trash. We have zero dollars, too. <laughs> There's a lot of smoke around here. Can somebody buy some burgers? That's broken, too, isn't it? So we probably need to, like take out a loan. Yeah, everything's broke. I don't think we're going to be riding anything here. <sighs> the one you were reading. Which one were you reading? I don't remember. Anyways, you can tell me that in a moment because that's all the time we got for tonight, guys. Thank you for coming and hanging out with me for a little bit while I played some Thrillville. Uh, tomorrow is, for me is Friday. I'll be either playing Civilization 6 with my brother Optijack, uh, continuing our our I don't know what to call it. Our showdown. <laughs> Continuing our game there. Or uh, or something else. Most likely Civilization VI. And, unless something happens that, that keeps him over at work or something like that. That's what we should be doing tomorrow. So I hope to see you guys there. At least those of you who enjoy some Civ VI. It's been a lot of fun. In the meantime, though, have a good night, everyone. Thank you again for come hanging out. Coming and hanging out. I can't talk anymore. I'm done. <laughs> be kind to each other, and I'll see y'all later. Bye. <laughs> uh. Guys, right? Right? These little dudes.